You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us.
things five by five, Captain. Hey, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. of assistance on your ship? Yeah, what's up? Hey there. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board.
I am fully updated and ready to assist with tasks. set of orders for me today. I will go wherever I am needed. It's always a good day when you come around. I was beginning to wonder if you weren't coming I back. have been idle here for a long time. I believe this is a process known as small talk. It is not my specialty, but I will do my best. It is impossible to read Barrett. He is neither a book nor a block of code. If you are asking for a summary of my observations on his behavior, I will provide one.
I have only seen Barrett kill his enemies. If you do not number among them, I surmise it was accidental. What you are suffering from is likely a bad first impression. I suggest consulting Barrett on the issue at once. Barrett tells me a bad first impression is the hardest thing to break. I believe that is because he has never tried to break a diamond. No, I was manufactured by a bean. However, Barrett has modified my programming substantially. I have advanced linguistic capability and navigational skills. I warned him that I would require an extra millisecond to process information with his modifications, but he did not seem to mind. Apparently, my capacity for conversation makes me a more entertaining travel companion. Barrett has not shared many personal details with me. He finds me a poor conversation partner, despite repeated attempts on his part. I do not understand the concept of gossip. My internal clock tells me that it has been years since Barrett and I began traveling together. I have traveled much of the settled systems in his company. Based on my understanding of Barrett, I believe he would be flattered by that assessment. I find you to be a more measured and logical captain than Barrett. It would be quite difficult for another human to be more reckless than him. My likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction has been significantly reduced since coming aboard your ship. You should consider this a success. I will answer your questions truthfully. Unlike you, I am incapable of lying. Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane, followed shortly by the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. I am looking at one. I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic Barrett's. This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. You are an exceptionally curious human.
constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. Some data from my time on Earth's moon remains deep in my motherboard, but I do not frequently access it. Very little of what is in those files would prove useful to modern spacefarers. That is correct. I am a first generation Model A robot. As such, I was manufactured on Earth's moon. Modern lunar robotics products are manufactured elsewhere. Constellation named me after the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, who resided on Earth in the 15th century AD. He explored his home planet by way of its seas. Barrett tells me he was quite an accomplished explorer. I am inclined to believe it, as that is a compliment Barrett normally reserves for himself. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. You may ask me anything. I am programmatically incapable of keeping secrets. That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. However, I have been kept busy since Constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. In a geographical sense, the Lodge cannot be missed. It is easily accessible from the New Atlantis spaceport. But I presume that you are using miss in this context to mean long for. In which case, my answer is no. I long for nothing. Barrett, however, regularly complains about missing the Lodge's amenities during our travels. This has led me to the conclusion that it is a place worth missing. Noted. I would be interested to know your definition of my style. Understood. Lunar Robotics is a manufacturing company. They are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Today, Lunar Robotics products are still found throughout the settled systems, myself included. Please do not hesitate to approach me with further questions. Aye, Captain. Good to see you. Been keeping busy out there? You're right. Enough standing around.
What's going on? You can count on me. 